Well, good morning and welcome back to the old Iron Lever channel. My name is Bob and we're going to uh, see a new addition to the shop today. It's, it's been a while since I've uh, got started on this, but I'm proceeding slowly because I have a lot of irons in the fire. Anyway, um, several years ago I decided I wanted to get into CNC machining mostly as a hobby just to, to learn about it and so on but uh, you know as things happen probably something will come up commercially that'd be worth doing too so anyway um, I saw Tormach 1100 which is kind of what I was thinking of getting for sale and I, I looked at it on a hemmed and hawed looked at the shop space uh, the side of day I don't know really know if that place to put it and back and forth Anyway, by the time I decided I might want to do this, it's already bought. <laughs> and I believe I know who bought it. It's, it, it's a, a fellow I've uh, known about down in, in uh, south of Denver. So anyway, uh, so I thought, well, that's okay because I really didn't have the room anyway. So I sold my, uh, my Nichols mill, the hand miller, and I gave away some things that were just occupying space for no particularly good reason. And uh, still, it's pretty cramped, but a lot of moving and shuffling and everything uh, eventually got down to where I had a space for it. Now I just needed to find one. Well, I found one at a, a manufacturing company. I, I don't know the whole story. I assume they started out with it. And as uh, time went on, they, they got uh, more and more busy and uh, moved into uh, I think they have five or six Haas machines now, and they really weren't using their 1100 anymore. Anyway, it came up for sale on Craigslist, and I jumped on it quit in a blink of an eye. <laughs> Here I am, I got cash, I'm ready to go. So I, I, uh, I bought it, and apparently there were a whole bunch of other disappointed people right after me that didn't. Uh, they got beat out, so it's fine. Anyway, um, moving it in, uh, uh, I'll have a, some video of moving it in. It actually worked real smoothly. We didn't have any problems. I rented a forklift to, to load it on their end, and then we moved it and the forklift over to my end and unloaded it and uh, put it on a uh, pallet jack, which the folks that sold it loaned me their powder pallet jack. Um, it was just perfect to reach underneath it, pick it up, and roll it through the shop. So anyway... Uh, now you kind of see it behind me here. Thank you. 
Now, do we need to do a seal this thing again? Oh, yeah, probably. This is probably as good a place as any of them. Yeah, this is the only spot we got here. So. Okay. Here are the eyes. Yeah. Gear left, just to here. Okay, straighten out. video of a guy running a wheelbarrow. He's starting to go down the hill and the wheelbarrow's pulling in and he's skiing along behind the wheelbarrow. And that course what happens at the end is like, yeah, probably not to that guy. <laughs> Ease it to the right, Will. Okay, start easing to the right. There, that's good. Come on straight. Straight head, straight head, straight head. Okay. Little right, little right, straight ahead, hold up. Okay, so we need to turn it 90 then. Right. And don't have enough room to do that, I don't believe. I got about four inches over here. You can come ahead a little bit and then I think you'll have some room. Swing it to the right already. And you think I can go over that track? Okay, crank her hard. There you go. Now, I think you should fit pretty well. Okay, well, 
When we get the front end about about here, we need to swing the ass end around. Kind of stay stay to your left. Tight here. Yeah. Watch the handles. Yeah. yeah a little more left. Yeah. Push him in. So anyway, you can see it over there. Um, it's a Tormach 1100 MX. It was uh, it's about two or three years old. It's got uh, a lot of tooling and things that came with it, and it's got very few hours on it. It was you know it just wasn't used a whole lot. So it's a nice clean machine. And uh, anyway, I take you on a a uh, handheld tour of it here. start the tour by showing uh, uh, all my walkways got a little smaller <laughs> and uh, my surface plate still on wheels and when I moved it haven't figured out exactly where I want to put it but uh, we'll figure it out and uh, first order of business was to get utilities in for it so I uh, dropped a uh, three-quarter inch airline to it and uh, the the drop at the bottom there is going to get a drain valve on it and I may put one more uh, tap on there to to do a, uh, an, air, an air nozzle a blow off nozzle, nozzle or something and then over here yeah. so underneath my electrical panel I added an outlet a 30 amp 220 outlet single phase so this panel uh, on the back there was on the outside and it needed to be on the inside so I, I moved it so that any dripping around the bottom edge would show up inside. Uh, <coughs> came with the fourth axis which currently needs a motor that's on order. Um, came with the Tormac vise and so on and so forth. <coughs> um, came with a number of tool holders and, and so forth. The manual and a bunch of spare parts and all that. So as part of the prep work I, uh, I took the vise off and cleaned the table and uh, uh, shot it with a little uh, uh, corrosion inhibitor. It had some rust spots on it so I thought I'd clean that all up. I stoned it with the precision stones and then remounted and retrammed the vise in so it should be all ready to go. Uh, anyway, I'm going to. It has a skimmer. I thought I'd mention that, um, and it has the automatic lube system. It has the the uh, air tool uh, tool holders. Uh, Change, uh, uses air to change, release and pick up the tool holder. All right, the startup procedure is pretty straightforward. Uh, turn on the main power. Unlock your emergency stop. Push the blue reset button. Uh, hit the reset over here. Let me get a little closer. Hit the reset here. Hit Z, get it zeroed in. Hit reset Y, hit Z, get all these referenced. Zero them out, and they're all set, uh, ready to go. I'm going to fire up the coolant, and uh, we'll see how this experiment with the hose goes. Well, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, have something to say that uh, you think I'd like to hear, well, uh, please leave a comment. And uh, if you like the channel, subscribe to it. And, and uh, we'll hopefully have some more of these videos coming along as Tormach starts being used for, uh, for various projects. So. Anyway, uh, until later, happy trails.